Hello, it's time for another episode of It's Not About You. My name is Bob Benson. I pastor Christ Lutheran Church in uh, Bemis Point. We've been talking about what it means to be selfless. Jesus manifests the greatest degree of selflessness when contemplating the sacrifice of his own life on the cross. When he prayed in the garden, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. That's Luke 24, 42. Likewise, we are to have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking on the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even the death on the cross. That's Philippians 2, 5 through 8. See, selflessness is counter to the culture that we live in today, but it is a central and intrinsic desire of trustworthy Christian characters. This is to be the deepest of our heart's desire as those who dare to claim that we love Jesus Christ as our personal Lord. We're surrendering all that we have, all our internal attitudes, all of our indifference to God, and becoming authentic Christians. We desire to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all our strength. That's Mark 12, 30. It's that kind of radical change that we see in people's lives when they come to Christ. That's the kind of radical change we like to see. I can't tell you how my life changed from before I knew Jesus Christ as my personal Savior to when I knew him as my personal savior, understanding that he saved me from me, from the sinful man that dwells in me. Now, I know what I'm gonna get. As a chosen child of the king, I'm gonna get all the good things that Jesus Christ is gonna inherit from his father. And those will be passed on to me as a co-heir. I am a co-heir with Christ, but I also know what I deserve. And that's the challenge for us. I know that I deserve eternal damnation in a place called hell. Uh, and we have to live, as Christians, we have to live in the balance of that. And we have to understand that the people that we see around us don't know that truth yet. They don't see themselves as sinners and they don't see themselves as saved from that sin. But that's our job uh, as Christians to be out there loving people and telling them the truth because we love them, that they are sinners, but there's an answer to sin. That not that the hope that abides within us all is that we know that Jesus Christ has saved us from our sin and we're gonna spend an eternity in heaven which we don't deserve. I'm gonna challenge you to go out in the world and tell that to people, live that out in front of people. It's hard to tell them something when you're arguing with them, but you can tell them in love. We, we always speak the truth in love. That's what we're called to do. So for it's not about you, let's make it not about us this week. Thank you. My name is Pastor Bob Benson.